Oh, what a beautiful day. It's going to be great. It's going to be a great, wonderful section here because we get to talk about secrets and series. If you guys already know about se- um, how to do sequences and finding the next number in a sequence and all that great stuff. That's really all this is about. We're talking about finding the next number or when it comes to series, we're talking about finding the sum of all the numbers, like all those numbers that are in that sequence. And the wonderful thing about this section is whenever you take the final exam, they give you a formula sheet. And anything that you need for this section or for this type of information is on the formula sheet. So I want to show you the formula sheet now because that's actually a really, really good thing. All right. So this is the formula sheet. We're going to talk about law, sine, law, cosine, like after we get finished with all of this stuff with sequence and series. But with it, arithmetic sequence and series and geometric sequence and series, the formulas are given to you on the test. It's on the formula sheet. What you have to do is know how to use those formulas and when to use those formulas. It's given to you. You don't have to write them down. You don't have to worry about like writing all this stuff and having this stuff. It's given to you. You just have to know when to use it and how to use it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the uh, formulas in, on this in this section here. And we're going to talk about the first arithmetic sequence series, those two formulas there. We're going to talk about those. We're going to work on those. And then we're going to talk about the geometric ones. And again, they're given to you. So I have to know how to do is just use them correctly. And then you can solve really any question that they give you. And it should be really cool. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go into the lesson. There we go. All right, so it's a couple of um, vocabulary words that are here. So first off, we're going to start off with sequence. And this is just a set of numbers in a specific order. So it's going to be a set of numbers in line. And you have a specific order that's going in. It's not bad. That's not hard. All right, now, inside that sequence, there's a thing called a term or terms. Now, every element or every number in a sequence or a series is considered a term. So, the first term is A1, the second term is A2, the third term is A3. So every number in that sequence is called a term. Or element. We like the word element also for math. All right, now, the definition for arithmetic sequence, which is this whole section. Arithmetic sequence is just a sequence in which the difference between successive terms has a constant. Is a constant. And you're like, oh, Mr. Hall, that made so much sense. Makes so much sense. Well, first off, think about this. We talk about keywords when it comes to like our vocabulary quizzes that we have and everything. So the keyword in this definition is the word sequence. At least one of them is the word sequence. There, arithmetic sequence is a sequence, and the other word that's um, a keyword is difference. We're going to talk about something in a few minutes that um, deals with the word difference. But when it comes to arithmetic sequence, it is a sequence in which the difference between successive terms is a constant. You're like, oh, that makes so much sense with the hall. Yeah. In other words, what's ha- happening here is when it comes between the first term and the second term, there's whatever you do to get from that first term to the second term, you do the same thing to get the second term to the third term. So if you have, for example, a sequence of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on and so forth, if you look at it, to get from 2 to 4, you add a 2. To get from 4 to 6, you add a 2. To get from 6 to 8, you add a 2. So each time between these, all you did was just add 2. So, whenever you talk about arithmetic sequence, and let's push this back a little bit, because I didn't do that right. Thank you guys for a little bit. So, with that, there's a common difference between them. Between 2 and 4, there was a 2. Between 4 and 6, there's a 2. It's a constant number that's the same thing. It doesn't change. That makes it arithmetic. That's it. Alright? Now, with that, 
that difference that we were talking about is considered a common difference. Common difference. And if we just said it was, we did two, to get from two to four was plus two, between four and six it was two, between six and eight was two, between um, eight and 10 it was two. That was a common number, it was the same number. So whenever we talk about a common number, we're talking about the same number being added or the same number being subtracted from each number, each term in that sequence. So when it comes to common difference, and again here is another key word for common difference, it has the word difference in it. Common difference is the difference between successive terms of an arithmetic sequence. And with it, we give that a letter. We don't write common difference down whenever we're trying to say, we're trying to find that answer. We write down the letter D. Now, most times when we do this, like I will say, what's the D? And most of the guys start laughing, like, <laughs> Mr. Hall, you said the D, D. <laughs> so um, with that, don't be nasty, please. Don't be nasty with this. We're looking for, I'm gonna say the letter D because I don't want anybody to be like perverted in their mind or anything of that sort. So when we say common difference, we're talking about the letter D. The letter D. Okay, so that's it. And to find the letter D, we're gonna do it in this order. Because it should make sense, but we're gonna do it anyway to show you, make sure you can do it. So we're always gonna do A2 minus A1. Or the second term minus the first term. And you should get, a, get an answer for that. Whenever you do the, again, you should get the exact same answer. So when we do the third term, minus the second term, we should get the exact same answer. If you do not get the same exact answer, it is not a common difference. If it's not a common difference, it's not a arithmetic sequence. So you must do those twice to make sure to check yourself. You must do A2 minus A1, and then A3 minus A2 to check yourself. Now don't switch it around and do A1 minus A2 because if you do that, you're gonna get a wrong answer. That's not gonna be a common difference, and you're gonna to try to use that to find the next numbers, and then you're gonna be completely wrong. You're gonna be mad at me for doing something wrong or messing with your head. So, again, common difference. That's it, that's all you gotta do. Make sure you do it twice. All right, so that's our preliminary information. So now we get to go into some other stuff.